Good afternoon, everyone. Sheila here on Boho Daydreams, and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. It is my favorite day of the week, and it has felt like Friday three times this week. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's been a wonderful week. I've had lots of energy. I have had lots of coffee, and we've had lots of snow. It's just like one of those weeks. But the snow is once again retreating. There's still about five inches out there, um, but it's going to be a sloppy mess now. Hopefully that's it, but who knows? Winter finally hit. Anyway, I'm here today. I want to do a giveaway for, for my YouTube subscribers. Um, you mean the world to me. And I've had this, this package that I want to um, show you for a while now. But it's just been so crazy busy that I just haven't had time. I'm behind on everything. I'm going to pop up my information. Sheila Genrich, scoghill4 at gmail.com. Facebook group is Boho Daydreams. And please feel welcome to join us there. And if you do join us there, please make sure you answer the questions to join. Super duper important. All that will be linked in the description box. So before I go into the giveaway, I want to show you some of the fun things that I found and did this week. And actually, um, it's, they're for packages that I am working on now. So what I did is I've printed out a lot of the washi tape. And it just kind of looks like brown paper. But once you glue it onto your pages, it's really, really nice. It looks like uh, scotch tape. It looks, it looks really, really great. And I just printed it out several times on tracing paper. And my printer isn't awesome anymore. It doesn't like to print on tracing paper. I have to do all sorts of things to get it to print on tracing paper. So it kind of has a little bit of streaks on it. But that does not matter because that will be uh, removed before I ever use it. I just love the way it looks. And it feels. It feels so good. And I put it on all of my all of my journal pages you know if I have little tears and whatnot because it really does look look old and then there's this and these are in my um, Etsy shop um, and so feel free to go over there if you don't have if you don't have the digital or you can make your own you could always make your own um, I print this on tracing paper and I'm going to link all that in the description box but but I saw a crafter her name is Lisa Lose and I saw her um, make it and it was different than this but it was the idea of embossing it that just really struck me and I hadn't really played with that idea because I didn't know if tracing paper could handle it but it does look at that I have so much embossing powder and and the stamps and whatnot from the sweet pea days Anyway, I'm going to link that in the description box because this is such amazing um, uh, embossing powder. Look how fine it is. It's just very, very fine. And so it prints out writing beautifully. So I'm going to use that at some point in time in, in my journals that I'm working on. I've also been working on these. I had to get some more supplies. Um, I did the little tutorial on this with my last journal that I'm making. They're loads of fun, lots and lots of fun, and they're so beautiful. They look like a buckle, don't they? And you can put them on your journal, whichever way you want, this way or this way. Kind of looks like a buckle, doesn't it? My last journal, I'm sliding my uh, silk tie underneath, so um, just gives it a different look. Super duper pretty made lots and lots of those and then oh my i found these oh, these are so beautiful yeah some very vintage wallpaper and this one's embossed and this one's going to work perfectly with some of the package packages that i am curating and then i also found another one. Oh my goodness this is so pretty and generally i'm not really um a vinyl type of person it's old this is a vintage roll of wallpaper i removed all the packaging from it didn't even have a scantron so it's pre pre 80s could be 80s they didn't have a scantron yet but generally what i find is that if they're in the 80s then they have the scantron on them 
and I got a couple of rolls. Isn't that beautiful? I love, love, love this dark blue. And that's why I got it. And um, then I ripped it as I was trying to open it for you. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the giveaway here. So, a while back, I was gifted this lace holder. And I did a tutorial on it. It's so beautiful. And I did... I did a giveaway in Patreon for this, which um, was a little bit different than this, but I got one for for YouTube, the YouTube subscribers too, because you're all very important to me. Um, and so I just wanted to show it to you complete. It's very, very beautiful, and it's a lot of fun to do. And your package is going to come with the directions. These are the little um, donuts, washer, wooden washer donuts. And then it's going to come with six hangers and the legs, the stand, all these pieces. And then there are the little dowelings. They're gonna come with that too. And you're going to make this and it is going to be so fun. This was a fantastic giveaway um, in my other group. So we're gonna, we're gonna do one here too because you guys are just as fantastic. Anyway, um, let's see, where are the rules? So first of all, I want to let you know that this is another Lisa Lose um, creation. And if you're not the lucky recipient, you can email her and she has more. She's been making them left, right, and center. She's been so busy with these, but um, her and her husband make them. So please just email her. She will hook you up. They are so beautiful. And especially in our shabby chic, our lace type of, um, you know, lace holders. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then I just put a little... I just kind of decorated them up with some of the bling that I had and then wrapped it with some pretty lace and put a little uh, a little bead on it. I love it. It was oops, it was a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. So, here we go with the rules. Always have a little bit of rules. So the so the entry rules for this giveaway and this giveaway is open to everybody, international and domestic. Everybody, if I can ship to you, if um, if I'm permitted to ship to you, then you can enter. And if by chance I cannot ship to you, then um, we'll have to do something else. Anyway, what I want you to do is comment on the video. And I want you to comment. You can say anything you want in that comment. Just be kind. Um, anything you want. And you can even be sassy if you want. Um, but I need you to tell me that you, you're you emailing me. And then I want you to email me at this address, scoghill4 at gmail.com. I want you in the email that you send me, I want your address. So I don't have to track you down and try and get your address from you. Because the, I'm just so busy that if I don't get an email from you, you won't be entered just because... Um, I'm too I'm too busy to try and get everybody's email addresses after the fact so that I can get your address. I'm working on trying to get my project done for the retreat, and that's a little bit behind. I'm going to link all of this into the, in the description box, and if you have any questions, you know where to find me. You can find me in the group. You can find me by my email. It doesn't matter. Just find me. Anyway, I hope you all have a good weekend. Oh, yes, yes. Cut off for this. I will be drawing for this next Saturday, which I believe is the 16th. I'm going to confirm that, and that will be in the description box also. Bye, everyone.